dispatch interactive and fast completion using address doctor API 522.9 in this demo in this video I want to discuss shortly the difference between batch mode and interactive mode and interactive mode and fast completion mode and I will make some suggestions when to use what mode I'll use for this demo the API and the front end we provide customers with when they download the API. This is the address doctor check. It's called, here you can see the version 5.2.9, and this is the build. The front end is 1.1.6.123. This is the front I can use. I need to have installed uh, also the countries. Uh, MD files to use those. Here I will fill in prevention strasse because I'm looking for the address of address doctor. Prevention strasse 9 Maxdorf in Germany. And I will use it to validate the information. As you can see, the Röntgenstraße, it's corrected to Röntgenstraße 9, the postal code is there, it's in Maxdorf, Rheinland Pfalz, in Germany. So the information is correct. What happens if I use the interactive? It will give you the same information. And what happens if I do fast completion? It will also give you the same information, but you see two changes. The first one is that instead of an I, the C4, it changes into a Q3, which means suggestions are available, it's a complete address, and it's, the mailability is almost certain. It's validated and changed correctly. The difference between batch and fast completion is more obvious if I change, if I remove the 9, remove this, and just click on validate. You see there will be an I1, which gives you data incorrect, pretty unlikely to be delivered, which gives me actually meaning that, it's that I can't use the information. If you use the fa fast validation, the fast completion, you get several options. What can be the right address? By using grid, I can show you which functions plots, functions strasse, functions strasse, in all kinds of areas. It will provide you with up to 20 examples. And that it's red means that there are more than 20 examples you can be used. So the difference is with batch that it will just use the validation and with fast completion it will use fuzzy uh, technology to at least give you a kind of provision what kind of address you can use. It will be more uh, visible if I use for example an address and I fill in 19 and I use patch you'll see it doesn't change any information it will still be the process will be on the score will be I1 and if I use fast completion you will see a change it still will be 20 but you see the first address is moved because apparently there is no 19 and if I look on grid and see where there is a 19 you see there are different uh, addresses popping up so the more information I provide, the more uh, fast completion will try to make an address out of it. If I would use 9, you will see the same thing. No I1, and fast completion, you will see Röntgenstraße on several places. To see the whole list here, you can see there are several places where there is a Röntgenstraße number 9. You see it's also limited to Strasse, there's no Röntgen plots anymore, which I can show again. There's Röntgen plots, Röntgen gang, and there you can see the limitation to the number who has been provided. So the difference between batch and fast completion is that batch will just check the address whether it's valid, and fast completion will try to, using fuzzy technology, to provide you at least some suggestions you can use.
Now I go to Wünschenstraße, Maxdorf, to show you the difference between interactive and fast completion. Interactive will, by the way, give you the same results. If I use Wünschenstraße here, it will just give you another, instead of E1 and E3, and it will give you no more information, and you see there's nothing added. If I use interactive, it will give you two suggestions. The first one, 129, which is the odd numbers, and the second one is 228, which are the even numbers. It has corrected to a postal code and it has corrected to Maxdorf. And with fast completion, I probably will get a similar result. And yes, indeed, I do get a higher percentage for both of them. If I would have removed Runchen and would have keep it this way, in this case, you still will get with fast completion two results. But interactive, you will see it is also corrected and it has also this way. To make the difference more obvious between interactive and fast completion is I will with this next example. The street is A and the locality is Berlin in Germany again. If I use validate it will make nothing out of it. You see there is no process status which comes above like, something you really want, are looking for. The data is correct, slim time studios is deliverable, and it's actually gambling. If I'm using interactive, you'll see a change, suddenly a change, because it will be able to be filled in, and it gives you a result. I can give you a number, it validate, and it still will come back with something, but not exactly what I want. However, fast completion will give me more results, in this case, about 15. I show you here what's the difference. Apparently there is a, week, a, a, a road called A and a street called A and there are also other roads where there is an A in the system. By using the one you can see it's all in Berlin and apparently it's limited to 15. So here the difference between interactive is only one and with fast completion I get more results. If I would use 3 here I would get 15 results here as well and with interactive it's still almost nothing but there is a postal code and it's in Brandenburg. The status will give me data incorrect in chance the address is deliverable. When are you using what? If you have confident information like Röntgenstraße wrongly written and you change it to 19 because that's something you heard and you think it's in Max Dorf in Germany and you're using patch you get information which is not correct it will be corrected but will give you the information if you're using fast completion it will correct it right away to either these numbers in Max Dorf, Max Dorf for or Maxdorf and using the fuzzy technology. If I use interactive here, you'll see it only will take Maxdorf and Wenchestrasse 19. So there is definitely a difference between interactive and fast completion. Interactive gives more options, just like batch, as you could see with Wenchestrasse 9 in Maxdorf. Or if I would need to number validate it will give you no more information if I use interactive you get two options one to nine and two to eight and fast completion there will be no difference because it will give you the same options however if I change you some more to Maxdorf and I select interactive it will give an invalid because it has no other information and with fast completion using fuzzy technology you get still some uh, options, alternatives. Röntgenstraße in Maxdorf and in Maxdorf. Four options. When I use in batch, that's simple. If you have, you're confident about the information and you just want to process exactly if the information the customer gave me is correct, then you can use this one. The batch, 
and it gives you information. If you want to know whether there are more options, for example, if you're using a web service and you want to implement it in your own application, you should int use interactive. Because then it can provide you sometimes with more information. If you change to Mark Store, you will see the difference again. You see two results, one is two and eight, and that's actually good, uh, usable for interactive. With fast completion, you will still, in this case, get two answers, but if I change it to Maxdorf, because the customer was not really looking Dorf uh, while writing the locality, you'll see, uh, see there are two uh, results, Markdorf and Registrar in Markdorf, and that's the information. Here is short the summary. Patch and interactive mode use precise parsing and can be wrong or can be right if the customer really has the intention to fill it in. Fast completion using, is using fuzzy parsing and give you more hits, which might or might not be right. Patch mode will give you a single return and interactive and fast completion, uh, fast completion will give you multiple returns, up to a maximum of 20 results. More information is available on the address of the documentation website and an informatical knowledge base.